guys the struggle with natural afro hair is a lot and i'm done i hope i do not regret this decision i'm making but even if i do i will know at least i tried it out hello guys welcome to jimmy's kitchen this is me texturizing my hair after a whole year of being natural i started my natural hair journey a year ago but today i decided to texturize it as i cannot go on with the pain anymore so stay with me guys as you see the process of doing this the product i'm using is called olive miracle i got this from a store and it has three three products in it so what i love about this product is that there's a step-by-step -step, um, instruction on how you can safely texturize your hair before i made this decision believe me i've tried so many products for my natural hair most of which have worked but usually they work for a day or so but it gets soft for like a day or two days and i'm done but now i decided to try this texturizer i had to to deliberate over it but i decided to go on with it if, if it will help me enjoy my hair better okay because your hair is meant to be enjoyed you're supposed to be able to comb it brush it out and just enjoy it okay and at the end of this video you can tell that this is my time to enjoy my hair okay so i'm not saying you have to texturize your natural hair you don't have to do it i'm just showing you the process i did in achieving mine so this is not a how to do it video really i'm just sharing my experience with you okay especially for people that have quite um thick and voluminous air this could just be what you need okay so at this stage i'm just massaging the hair over and over since i cannot comb it out Believe me, at this point, I was saying in my heart that, hmm, I hope I don't regret this decision. Although it says in the instruction booklet not to comb it out, so that's why I'm not using the comb on it, okay? But I'm still doubting it. <laughs> but what is done is done, okay? It's been eight minutes since I started this process, and now I'll go on to wash it off. I'm using the shampoo and the conditioner. At this point, I was really, really scared for the big unveiling. Hmm. When I saw this, I screamed in my heart. But then, touching it, it feels so different. So, I decided to comb it out. Apparently, I cannot leave it this way. So, I'm combing it out. Guys, it feels so soft. So soft and tender and luscious. It feels so rich. You know like what i want my natural afro hair to be like oh now i'm so excited so at this point i knew i made the right decision believe me i would let you know in weeks to come what it looks like okay if it is really worth it i hope i'm not just feeling it because i'm just doing it for the first time and i hope and believe that it will not damage my hair now i'm adding my hoi for moisture 
and now i'm just going to be styling it <laughs> don't laugh at me i'm using one of my crochet stand just one out of the crochet i have to pack it because i don't want to use um the tight the tight band on it it gives me headache so i'm just using this and i'm using a technique that i learned online to make a very nice and pretty style at this point the hair is dry and it's giving all that it has to give ah, i was so excited i was so happy that finally i found a solution for my hair finally i can enjoy my hair it still feels natural in fact it is natural because i still have my curls and i don't need to it, it, it's not silky you know like a relaxed hair it's still natural coily and it's bouncy yes very bouncy so do i regret this no i do not but in case i do in the next in the few weeks to come i'll definitely update you Thank you so much for watching up until this point if you've enjoyed this please like this video and please subscribe to this channel thank you till i come your way next time bye bye